What's up my people? Thank you so much for coming back to check my channel. This is Informant 254. Today in Stockhausen uh, at a very special place where there is uh, construction going, going on about uh, Hochwasserschutz. It's like a flood prevention strategy and technology and the place is like it's an amazing place. You know the technology which is used to protect floods around this place um, there's a lot going on around here so they just put this in place in case there might be floods around this place you know it's the place is low there's a forest the other side it's high and this side is also high so there's a possibility with a lot of water that um, there might be floods around this place but to prevent that there's this, you know, they call it the Hochwasserschutz technique. Yeah, that's in German. It means the, to prevent high waters uh, calamities and um, tragedies, you know. So, welcome back to my channel and thank you for the almost 500 subscribers that are on my channel. It's been a great journey, you know, slowly but sure. And welcome to my channel. Hochwasserrückhaltbecken in Ausbilden. Hier unten die kleine Kirsch ist ja sehr unscheinbar. Aber mit dem, äh, mit dem Klimawandel wird es immer mehr äh, Starkregen geben und das Risiko, dass dann Ortschaften äh, überflutet werden, ist sehr hoch. Deswegen ist diese Brücke hier gebaut worden. Hier unterhalb von der Brücke ist der Ort Schanhausen. Der ist schon vor einigen Jahren mal heimgesucht worden durch Überschwemmung im Tal, waren einige Schäden, aber man erwartet, dass, jetzt, dass es jetzt viel schlimmer kommen würde. Und vorsorglich hat man jetzt diese, dieses Stauwerk gebaut. Dankeschön, Dankeschön. Es ist sehr wichtig für die Umwelt jetzt, ja. dass die aufpasst, sehr geht so ja. Danke. So, my people, this bridge that I'm standing on, you know, it has been made in specific to prevent, it will like hold water on one side if there's a lot of water coming from the one side of the river, you know. The water is moving from this side going that side. And the way this bridge has been made, it will be like right below me. There's something that holds the water, okay. If there's a lot of flooding on this side and there's a lot of water, it holds the water to a certain level, to a certain level then opens up to leave the water to go the other side. The reason behind it is because the houses on this other side of the bridge, they are really close to the river. So if there's, if there's flooding, the water will be so high that it will affect the housing on the other side. So for them to prevent the water from going the other side to that level, they've made this bridge, you know, so that the, the water can be held here. There'll be a stout then vasa here, you know, it will like create some kind of jam, you know, There'll be some jamming here so that water will be high on this other side, right? Water will be high on this other side to protect the houses on the other side. And then they'll control the water from here slowly to let it go to the other side of the houses so that it doesn't affect the housing the other side. That's why there's this kind of bridge here. This bridge is actually to create some kind of, uh, some kind of, uh, you know, like jam, you know? You know, it's like traffic jam for the water, you know? Stauten in Wasser auf eine Seite und lasst dann langsam lasst den Wasser rüber auf der anderen Seite in German. So that's the biggest reason why they build this bridge. You know, it's just to protect the people who live on the other side of this water, because their houses are really close to the the river. That's how it is. That's how it is. And the money they put on this stuff, the technology they put on this stuff in readiness, amazing. Hydraulics, a lot of welding, a lot of cement and metals and and sensors and everything just to see how high the water will go you know as you see if you see down here down there there you know it shows how they expect the water to reach how high they expect the water to reach and that's amazing because um, these things happen you know you can't fight the weather 
you can't fight the weather, you can't fight, you know, nature. That's what my father said one day. If it's cold, put on a jacket. Don't open your chest and look like you're strong. It will kill you. You can't fight the weather. You can fight somebody, fight a disease, but the weather, no. Just live the way it is, live with it, you know. Amazing, amazing technology and people come and watch this stuff here and it's like something that has never been there, you know. But in Europe, because of the flooding that has been going on, they've now started putting in measures to prevent any kind of flooding, you know, to protect people's property and lives of animals and people. There are a lot of horses around this place. That side, there's a place where people keep horses. This other side, there are people who have horses. So to protect and housing and stuff, to protect all this property, which is worth a lot for these people, this, you know, bridge was built, you know, flood protection bridge was built with this technology. You know, amazing guys, amazing. You check it out, you can google out, I'll put the details down here and you can, guys can check it out and see how amazing this technology is. Because me too, myself, I'm like, wow, wow. Check it out, check it out guys. As you see the bridge, it has a hydraulic press on the other side. You know. And I'll take a video of the whole bridge. It says move at your own risk around the bridge. So it's you have to be careful doing it. There was a lot of welding on this bridge. A lot of welding. Oh, wasser schutz Brücke. For those who've never heard of this. See that height? The bridge is not for meant for cars. It's meant only to slow down the movement of water during floods. I suppose this goes up and down as I can as you can see there's a there's a hydraulic the hydraulic pumps in the whole of this thing as you can see This is what they need to build in the Budalangi, Kenya, where we have a lot of floods. So these, uh, these kind of blocks and opens up, depending on how high, high the floods will be. You see that measures, you know, 25%. Starts from 25% to 50%, 75%, goes up to Stout Hill, up there. It's an amazing, amazing thing, which I'm going to read more about. And as I read the small detailed part, it's like a bridge that protects the surrounding from high water. There's a way it will be blocking and opening up, you know. To prevent any kind of flood. 
This is taxpayers' money doing its work in Germany. Hochwasser schutz Brücke, guys. The bridge is really high. It's a really high bridge. And I think it will be opened up for viewing. And maybe people will be paying to come and watch this bridge. Because it looks like that's the place where people have to pay to come and watch and see how this bridge works. Amazing. Wow. 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 There's a small gate here which allows me to enter and check on the height on the other side of the bridge where you have to get a better viewing. This is one of the hydraulics that will be used to control the, the waters around. So this high water control bridge is specifically built at this particular location because of a few reasons. One of the reasons is some houses around here are really close to the bridge and there's prediction that the water, once the water is too high, it will reach the level of the, of the houses. So I'm on top of the bridge. This is how it looks like, the top of the bridge, you know. Let's see how it looks like on the other side. Flood prevention strategy of this century. Look at this amazing technology. Look at that. That's the bridge. The flood prevention strategy technology. See that where the water is expected to reach in case there's a flood. And that's the bridge. You know, to control the water. This is in readiness for all that flooding that might, might come one day. And this is one of the small cabinets where they keep their stuff. Then there's this part, which was meant the whole bridge flood prevention bridge so the people are watching this 
This was also something I've seen for the first time in my life. You know, a flood prevention bridge. Amazing. Amazing the way it has been made. In readiness for any calamity. Because nature is unpredictable. For those people who know nature, it's always unpredictable. Today is good, tomorrow we are fighting it. But we have to live with it. That's how nature is. See the height in which the water has to be estimated to reach? It's really high. That's what the estimate is, just in case there's high waters. The yellow markings are, I think, in feet. Yeah. To, to control the high water yeah. the flooding, in case there's flooding. This goes up and down, as you can see the rollers on the side. This goes really high. Pulls it up and down. I guess we'll have to see this one day when there are floods. Real hard metal welding on this bridge. So I'm gonna show you how long the bridge is, the flood prevention bridge is. Um, it's long, as I took a snapshot of the details, just how long the bridge is. Big bridge. Stockhausen versus Schutzbrücke. This is it. It's a really fine technology down here. Trying just to figure out well, how does this thing work. But it's to prevent floods, you know. They are preparing anything to do with floods. Because currently there's been a lot of heat. Everywhere burning. Everything dry. And there's also been a lot of water. So floods. So this thing right here, this bridge, is to prevent any kind of flooding around this place. And I think they're predicting flooding. They're predicting flooding because this side is really high, that side is really high. And there's this small stream, like a small river passing around here. Uh, must be strategic that they build this bridge here to prevent any kind of to, and to control the movement of water in case there's a flood. So, this is me from 254 signing out from the Stockhausen Wasser Schutz Brücke, you know, like a, uh, like a water flooding controlling bridge, you know, water flood controlling bridge. Amazing, amazing. Never seen this. A lot of money was put on this. A lot of money, millions of euros. Because with the electricity, the hydraulics, the, the walls, the cement, and the metals, you can see it is really stable. So I'm signing out for you guys today. Take care, and thank you for watching my channel. It's all about love. It's for you. I'm in Stockhausen, where they've built this amazing bridge just behind there. It's an amazing bridge. You guys check it out. It's in Stockhausen.